All right, so to get started to create our first hero section, just like you see over here, we are going to have obviously our hero section taking up a percentage of our screen size, and this looks to be like 80%. So what we are going to do is simply come back over here to our Elementor editor. We are going to add a new section. It's going to be a one column section, and we are going to come over here to layout, come over here to height, and we're going to set a minimum height. And that minimum height will be having the viewport height of 80%. But in the case whereby we want it to fit the whole of the screen or the whole viewport height, we simply just come back here to our editor and just say fit to screen and that will take up the whole height. Next, what we're going to do is simply come over here to our style and we're going to add a background image, the image of the climbers. And under size, we are going to set it to cover. We are going to give it an overlay color, just like you see over right here, so that our words over here will be very visible on this white or on the snow. So when we come back here to our editor, we are going to come to background overlay color. We are going to set it to be actually a gradient. And here we are going to choose our color. So this is going to be the off white. It's going to be at the location of 60. And then for our secondary color, we are going to choose our secondary gray. And that will be at a location of 80. So over right here on the blending mode, I'll switch this to be at multiply. And I'll make sure that our opacity is 0 0.6. Something like that. Now it looks way more visible and that our words will be readable down below here. What I'm going to do is now to update. I'll now add an inner section over here. And that inner section will carry our heading over here, which is having the word in the background called Renzori. And then later on, we'll have our icon list below here. So coming back here to our editor, I'll come to the widgets area and I'll look up for the inner section, which is this. I only want one column. So I'll just delete the other. I'll come back here to our widgets, grab our heading widget. And in here, we want the word Renzori. I want it to have the HTML tag of one, under style, text color, I'm going to grab our secondary color, and under typography, we're going to change this to be 270 pixels, and I want to have 500 as the font weight, line height is going to be one, and letter spacing will be 10, and under transformation, I want it to be uppercase. I'll come back here to the style, so under style, we're going to choose the blending mode to be saturation. Before I actually turn the blending mode, let me first leave it to normal. I'm going to come over here to advanced. Under padding, I'll unlink everything and I'll give the top padding to be 100 and the bottom padding I want it to be 400. Then I'm going to come back over here to our style blending mode. I'll switch this to saturation. Now you see that our word appears to be just behind the rocks. All right, so since our layout for the section is boxed. I'm going to come back here to the layout settings, come over here to the layout itself and change this to full width. And I'll come back over here to our height. I'll change this to be our minimum height and it's going to be a VH of 100%. So I'll as well select my inner section and make it to be full width as well. And now you see that our word Renzori is fully visible. When I click on it and come back here, select normal, you realize that now everything is appearing. Now we want that this word is in the center of our inner section. Then back here to our style, turn this to be saturation. So we are getting close to something like this over here. So to make our word not that much visible, we are going to come back here to our text color and we are going to reduce a little bit on the opacity. So we have something like that. It's there, but not really shouting. We will now head straight and add our icon list over here. So come back here to our Elementor editor, come to our widgets area and look up for our icon list, which is this over here. And we just drag it down below here. So when you grab the navigator, you realize that this icon list is in the same column as the heading. All right, so what we're going to do is now to customize. So we'll come over here, switch this to the locations or the destinations. So Nyabi Tower. I'll delete this and instead duplicate the first one. So now I've added all my destinations or the locations. So when I select in line, that means that I can apply links to these individual icon lists. 
for example, when I come over here to Nyavitaba, I can add a link over here, and that means that Nyavitaba will be clicked. I can as well add links to all those other icon lists, for example, in this case, if I want to link up to a blog post I wrote about John Mate, for example, I wrote this blog post over here about John Mate Camp, so I can simply just copy this URL, come over here to our editor, and apply that URL over there. I can as well link up to a new window once someone clicks on the John Mate link. All right, so that's it all for adding links to the individual icon lists over right here. All right, so the next thing we are going to do is to change the layout to inline, and now we can style up each individual section. We'll come over here to style, and we'll add some space between, this will be 20. I'll come to our icons, I'll change the icon color to our accent color, and the size will be 20. So we'll come over here to text. The text color will be our off-white. And under typography, we're going to set the size to be 20. And it will be in uppercase. Right, so now let me duplicate this same icon list over here. And I'm going to delete all the other options because we want to create something like this over here called Margarita. So we are going to come over here, select our icon list, name it. All right, we can apply a link to anything that is talking about Margarita. So I'll come back over here, grab a link to Margarita. This is the final day on summiting the highest peak on Mount Renzori. So I'll come over here and apply a link, I can make it open up in a new tab. I'm going to come over here to the icon and I'll look up for a, an icon, and that icon will be none other than the paper icon, which is this. So under style, I'll leave the space between to be 20, and under the icon option, I'll change the color to our primary color, and the size will be 40. And under text, I'll leave this to be in our off-white, which is this, and under typography, we will change this We'll make the size to be 100 pixels. We'll leave everything on the default. Then what I'm going to do is now to first of all select my first icon list, come to advanced, come to positioning, come to the width option and set it to be auto inline. The next same I'll do over here on the next icon list, advanced, positioning and on the width I'll set it to be inline auto. And that's how we achieve to have all these icon lists on the same line. So we are going to select this to make the vertical align to be center. And the same over here, positioning vertical align to be in the center. So when we select our column for the horizontal align option, we sent it to be on the center. That's how we happen to have our icon lists in the center of our section. All right, so I'm going to come over here and select this icon list, the first one come to padding and I'll add some padding on the right hand side and that will be something like 20 so that we have some space between over here. So what I'll do now is to update. I can come over here and preview my page. All right, so it looks like we are on the right track. So what we have to do is now to make sure that this word comes a little bit down so it appears to be sinking into the mountain but still visible. So when I come back here to the home page, I'm going to select my heading, come to the advanced option, I'll remove the 50 pixels and I'll make it 400 or I make it 300. I'll go and look on our preview page. It looks convincing, but now our icon list has moved down below here further. So what I'm going to do is come back over here. I'll add some padding at the top to be 100 pixels. And over here at the bottom, I'll make it to be 400 pixels. When I preview over here what we've done, this looks fine and also this looks fine. So the question is, how do we achieve this animation over here? So to do that, we are going to first of all, select our first icon list, come to advanced, motion effects. We're going to select to have fade in normal and we'll make this 800. Then we're going to select our second icon list and as well come to advanced, motion effects. We're going to as well select fade in normal, but this will be 1000. Okay, so when I update, I'm going to come back over here on our preview page and voila, that's how we achieve to have this kind of hero section for our homepage looking nice and neat. So the question is, how do you make this section mobile and tablet responsive or mobile friendly? So to do that, we are going to simply just come back here to our editor and now we are going to come over here to the responsive mode. 
So you realize that I have many devices over here. And I know probably in your editor, you have like three options. So to do that, you're going to simply just select over here on the gear icon, manage breakpoints. And here you can say active breakpoints. You can add a mobile, mobile extra, tablet, tablet extra, laptop. You can as well add more others over here. So I'm going to remove the mobile extra and the tablet extra to only stay with three devices, the mobile, tablet, and the laptop. So I'll simply now update. I'll reload my editor. Now when I come back here to the responsive mode, you realize that I have only four devices. Okay, so let me start with this now. On the laptop option, look how this changes. I'll start with renaming my arrow section. And the good thing with Elementor, they give you options for most of the widgets on how you can mobile optimize them on different devices. For example, when I select this heading, I come to style, I come here to typography, you will realize that I have the screen sizes below here. When I click, for example, I have the desktop, the laptop, tablet, and mobile devices, just like you have set them up over here in your settings for the breakpoints. All right, so now we are making the settings for the laptop. So I'll reduce a bit on the type size. All right, that looks fine. I'll update. Then I'm going to as well go to our next device. So come back over here, typography, and I'll further reduce. Or in the case, if this won't look really good, what you can do is you can hide this on certain devices. For example, when I come over here to advanced, responsive, I can say hide this on that device, which is a tablet. So hide on tablet. Now, when I move to the mobile device, I think it makes more sense as well to hide this on the mobile device. So what I'm going to do is hide on mobile device. Now let's work on the other widgets down below here, which is the icon list. So coming back here to our tablet, it looks nice and neat. Now let's go to the mobile or the tablet device. It as well looks nice and neat. I don't really have to do anything. Then when we move over here to the mobile device, all right, so here is where we have to do some work. The first thing we are going to do is obviously make some changes on the type size. Under text, we are going to select the typography and we are going to reduce a little bit on the size. So we have them just in line over here. The other thing we are going to do is as well select our second icon list, which is having Margarita. Come to style, under text, typography, we are going to reduce it further to have it more visible. Something like 39 works great or 35. All right, so now we have mobile optimized our first hero section to look great on all devices that we have selected over here in our responsive mode. So what I'm going to do is now to update, I'll preview my page and voila, it looks great. I'm happy we could get through this very fast, simple and easy. So I may not go through every other section showing you how to set up your responsive settings, but this is a blueprint for you on how you can get along with that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next section showing you how you can create this tours section in your travel blog.